Hi there, welcome to this week's Angel Reading. I'm Rachel Skoltalk, Angel Medium Intuitive Energy Therapist, and I've pulled you three cards from the Kyle Gray deck, which I'm totally addicted to at the moment, the Keepers of the Light Oracle. Love the artwork, it's Lily Moses Art. She's an Australian artist, love her. So I've pulled three cards out. What I wanted to say first is that we can't ignore that there is so much pain and suffering going on in the world at the moment, and things that are um, weather orientated and things that are man orientated, human orientated. And so, you know, we can't help but feel it. And what I want to say to you is let yourself feel it, but then please give your feelings and your emotions and any sort of um, fears that you have to the angels and God. Because I really think that if we hold on to resentment and pain and trauma you know it's we can be traumatized by the horrendous acts that we read about and we see on our screens so it's um it's a kind of secondary trauma and if we allow ourselves to be paralyzed by that that starts to infect our lives and i'm a big believer that world peace can only happen as we all become conscious and personally responsible for our own inner peace and our own feelings and knowing that we are connected to the divine source always even though we're not always conscious of that and it doesn't matter whether you find your source through angels and angel cards and prayer and meditation and yoga and healing or through religion whatever that they practice or tibetan practices or buddhist hindu it doesn't matter it's just important to know that you have the source energy streaming through you at any given moment and when you connect into that and then you and you learn what to do with your strong emotions when you feel heartbroken when you feel resentful when you feel hurt <coughs> excuse me it's important that you know what to do with those emotions you channel them into something healthy you release them to God and the angels. And believe me, the angels are amazing energy healers. That's why I work with them. They're pure love and they know how to take those hideous, heavy, dark energies that can take root inside of you through experiences. They know how to get rid of them so that they don't turn into something worse. Angels can protect you from the resentment, hatred and anger that come from others. Angels can help you to get over whatever struggles that you, you are going through and that you've been through. So remember, there's lots of ways and great therapists and healers and people you can talk to and, and stuff you can do so that that energy gets moved out of you and so that you can work on your connection to the divine and feeling, knowing your worth and knowing that there are healthy ways to heal um, and to eliminate the darkness from the world. And it doesn't have to be through more hatred and anger, which is it's kind of, you know, ridiculous, but it is what, what we do. We've all felt that way, right, sometimes, that when someone hurts us, we want to hurt them back. So I can't imagine the pain and suffering that people are going through um, at the moment, but I also can't imagine the pain and suffering that leads someone to do something hideous to, to other people either. So anyway, moving on, I just wanted to say that, that, you know, the angels are there for you. And I've posted um, some a prayer on my, on my Facebook page. So I've pulled you these three cards. Now, the first card is really interesting. It's the Divine Director. I don't know if you can see that in the light. So the Divine Director is a, a part of the Divine Spirit, the Divine Source. And it's, it's like he, he has come as this aspect of energy to intervene in your life. And so I see this as the first card as saying the angels, God, spirit is intervening in your life at this moment. Wake up and see, notice the signs, see what's going on and know that this is an intervention. This is the angels coming saying, come on, we're getting you into your happy place. We want you to find your happy. So whether it's something bad that's going on or something challenging and difficult, emotional or something else, you need to look at that with through instead of through the eyes of fear and victimization, through the eyes of, okay, what is this showing me? How can I turn this around to for it to be showing me clearly a path that's moving me forwards towards happiness rather than towards pain? So again, this is about your divine life purpose. 
Not, not everybody's life purpose or all of our life purposes are connected to our career. We've said this before. It can be, you know, your purpose can be just to be peaceful and happy. And you have to take actions. You know, I always say that the angels aren't like Santa Claus, just dropping presents, fixing our problems, waving their magic wands. They work together with us. We are a team. They're, they're on the spiritual team. We're in the physical team. And we work together to create what it is that we want. So it might be that you have to rid yourself of some negative energy so that you can find this happiness. It might be that you need to change jobs so that you can be more happy and you've got more energy to spend on things that you love and with the people that you love. It might be that you've got to get into your art or your music or your writing or your photography or whatever that is. You know what that is. You've got to do it instead of talking about it and thinking about it and telling people about it. You know, there is an intervention going on at the moment and it's reminding you that life doesn't go on forever and ever and ever in your in this physical body. It's limited and time is precious. Yay. So the next card is this one. It's it's Saint Germain and the title of the card is Karma Releasing. Now, I know Saint Germain as being one of the divine ascended masters. You know, people that have lived on life lived a life and then become beings that become our spirit guides and he carries the violet flame he tells us how to burn off the heavy negative energies that we sometimes absorb from other people in our lives now the heavy negative energies of karma can come from our own actions because it's the law of cause and effect not reward and punishment good karma bad karma it's all karma karma is just when when someone won't heal their problem and you start to take that problem on, then you start to have you start to take on the karma of that problem. So you might see that with it, maybe people that get together um, and one person's wealthy and one person's poor, and one person's got a poverty mentality, and one person's got a, a prosperity mentality. Well, the two merging together, one could bring the other one down and, the, and they both become poor. So that way, that one person has taken on the negative beliefs of and the karma of the person that they're trying to, to be with. So that's that can be fixed. You can say, I don't want this karma. You can release that. You can release it from your consciousness, from your energy, any energies that you've absorbed from people that you've been trying to help, people in your family line, people in your um, energy history and your past lives. Release all of the karma and notice that if there's stuff going on at the moment that just doesn't seem like you, it's like, why do I keep bumping into negativity? Why do these things keep happening? You have to look within first and go, okay, how am I creating this? And then start to go scan your energy. What else is in my energy at the moment that could be creating this? What am I linking to? What am I absorbing? What am I reading too much of? You know, I, I noticed that if I read a lot of... Um, of novels that are orientated around sadness that starts to become my energy so I've started reading more uplifting um, books in my spare time so you have to look to your energy so th this is saying make room for good energy start to get it out turf it out of your life burn it off in the violet flame give it to the angels and Archangel Michael the final card is trusting heaven and look at who is with us it's Archangel Michael himself, the most beloved of the Archangels, the most well-known of the Archangels, because he is the divine protector. He is the angel that carries the flaming sword of light that cuts away those demons and dark energies and cords and psychic attack and curses and bad karma. The angels can't help us if we're still holding on to the problem. You get that right. If you go to the post office with your letter and you give it to the man over the counter and he just he tries to pull it off you and you won't let it go, that's a little bit like what we do with the angels. We try to give the angels, we go, okay, angels, help me. And then, but we never let go of it. So you've got to surrender. Surrender means let go completely. Say, here's the problem. Give them the whole detail of what you're struggling with and, and, and what you'd like help with. Don't tell them how to help you. Just give it to them. Give it to God, the angels, the archangels and Archangel Michael. Clear me of the negative energy that is rooting this problem to me. Clear me of the cords and the swords and the psychic daggers. Clear me of everything that I might be doing that might be clinging this to me. I surrender it to you. I open my hands and fingers 
angels, please take this. And then you have to let go of all of that self-doubt and that skepticism that says, oh, they're not really helping. You have to step back and let them intervene because remember free will. Free will is you can keep living your life the way you're living it. You can keep holding on to the problem. You can keep, the angels aren't just going to swoop in and rescue you from yourself. You have to give them permission and part of that permission is the surrendering. So it, this is a story board that has come forward for you. It's saying we are intervening in your life. We've heard your prayers. We, we know what you want, we, but what we want for you is what you want for yourself. It's happiness. Let go of all the details of how that is and just start to make room for it. Start to spend time on the things that actually make you happy because happiness is peace and happiness adds good energy to the world. If you're sitting in resentment and unhappiness, you're adding more resentment and unhappiness to the world. That's, that becomes a big fierce fireball that turns into a hurricane or a war or, or, or something else. So you have to be responsible for your energy. Burn it off in the violet flame and give it to the angels. Let go and trust because there's some really beautiful things coming for you. Thank you so much. I always appreciate the feedback I get on these because, you know, it's just me in my office sitting here <laughs> doing it. So thanks for the emails and the, and, the, and the little messages that I get on Facebook and stuff. Let me know if you like it and what you want more of. Um, say a prayer for the world today. Surround her in light. Surround yourself in light and release any trauma that might be going on for you too. And um, I'll see you next week. Angel blessings.